up, y'all? This is Jay Watts for Uber G Bay Z. Opening up me something nice and cold. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about customer ratings. Right now is an important time in, in ride sharing delivery because a lot of people, customers and riders who think that we're employees don't realize that we're business owners. And we control and conduct the business coming towards us. And we do it using customer and rider ratings. That's really how we do it. I made a video the other day, you can go check it out on my, um, my channel, about how to go back and readjust and re-rate a customer. Let's say somebody, because it the app static leaves you at five stars. If you don't rate a customer when you drop them off, it gives them five stars. That's what it is. What you don't know is that you can go back into the trip, hit help, go back down, and you can re-rate a customer, four, five, three, two, one. You can re-rate them days later. I had a guy today comment that he had a ride Saturday. He went back in today after watching my video and re-rated it. He didn't know he could do that, so he re-rated them because they you know, pulled the tip away from them. But we have that power. And you may ask, well, why is that important? It's important because you can go through your app settings and you can set the type of customers you want in your car. The lowest you can go is, the lowest you can accept is a three-star rated passenger. And the highest you can go is, you know, 4.95 star. They have, is, they give you minimum levels to set. But you can go through and say, hey, I don't want anybody under 4.7 or anybody under 4.5. So if you're around somebody who has a 4.2 you know, rating, they're not going to show your car as being available for them because their rating is too low for what you have your phone set at. You're conducting the type of business you want coming your way. Some of these people think just because they have the app, we're mandated to pick them up because, hey, I have a rating that's blah, blah. No, if our system says that we don't want anybody under a certain rating, we ain't picking you up. That's just how you, we don't even show up on your app. So now you have the power to go back through and re-rate customers. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with being a four star. When everybody starts out, everybody's, you know, everybody's app is set at the minimum driver you're picking up is a four star. Even my app says the minimum I can pick up is a four star. I can go through and adjust and I only want 4.5 and up. I usually do that when it's late night. When it's late night, I'll go adjust higher because I don't want no low ratings in the middle of the night. Two, three in the morning, I don't want a low rate rider just because they're, they probably gave too many people headaches already and it's too late at night to be dealing with that. So you can go through and change it. Everybody's a four star. Nothing's wrong with being a four star. I'll eat at a four star restaurant. Four star is amazing. I'll stay at a four star hotel. Ain't nothing wrong with a four star. But we're automatically putting all these people at five star as if they're you know going above and beyond what it is to be a writer or a customer is that they're they're tipping us and they're doing this and do no some people they don't tip and that's cool it should be okay if we put them at a four star nothing's wrong with a four star the app says hey if you're at least a four star somebody's gonna be in your area to pick you up because every driver's app is set at four star or above so nothing wrong with being a four star even uber thinks nothing wrong with being a four star they say it's a good number to be but we're giving, you know, five stars to people who are tipping us 10 bucks. But then we're also giving five stars to people who ain't tipping us at all. Then we're giving five stars to people who are retracting the tip, thinking we can't control the system. But we can. My video show you how. And that's why I'm, I used to be an accountant, and a lot of people know that. I go through systems. Done. I've been doing that my whole life. Done it my whole life. So I go through the Uber system. I go through the Lyft system. I'll figure stuff, stuff out about Lyft later. But I'm going through all of these systems trying to find stuff out. So... Now you know how you can re-rate a customer down to a low rating, and you can set your app to say, I only want to pick up customers this above. And what that does is it now puts the onus on a customer to be a good customer. Because if you're not a good customer to a lot of these drivers out there, guess what? You're not going to have a lot of drivers available because everybody's going to be setting their rating at 4.7, 4.8 or above, 4.9 and above. You're going to be sitting around at a 4.1 like, I can't get a ride home, man. Well, you're a 4.1. All these drivers are setting their stuff 4.5 and up. How'd you get to be a 4.1? Well, you know, I retracted a few tips to get some cheap food. You know, I didn't tip this guy. I didn't do this and that. That's what's going to happen. At some point, certain riders are not going to be available on this platform because we take control of who gets rides and we can go through and re-rate people. So make sure you treat this app like a business. Don't let customers walk on you because it's not right for them to do us like that. A lot of these customers will sit up there 
crap on us, give us crap, not tip us, and they still walk around with a five star because we don't realize that we can go back through and put them exactly where they put us. We can be even like that. But, you know, that's my video for today. I got to get out of here. I got to go meet up with my man or whatever. You know, today's my off day. I'm probably going to take the Jeep. I got some, you know, BMW work to do. I'm going to redo my transmission fluid. But, hey, you guys be safe out there. If there's any questions, comments, put them in here. And for all the people that's putting thumbs down, don't be negative. I'm only giving you solutions. People put thumbs down on these videos because they don't like the reality of what's happening. The reality is we are not employees. We are business owners. We and Uber and Lyft, DoorDash, we're all in this together as business owners. We getting money, they getting money, and you guys are our customers. Our customers, not their customers who can step on us. We can take the power back. So don't make us do that. We don't want to go back through and re-rate you. We don't because we don't like doing that. But we have the power to. We don't want to go through and set our rating at you know 4.8 and up. We don't want to do that. But we have the power to. So let's all be positive about this transaction. Let's all be good. Treat each other right. We'll take care of our cars like I'm taking care of that. We'll get to you guys and pick you up or bring you your food. Everything will be fine. Just don't be negative. Understand that this is a business. And we're all having a good day. Enjoy it, baby. In order to become successful, you need three things in life. The first is intelligence, then a mix of vision and ambition, and the third is hustle. 